In this video, I will show you how you can use an AI like ChatGPT locally on your computer without the internet in less than 10 mouse clicks. You don't need an OpenAI account for this. You don't have to register anywhere and you can theoretically build your own AI apps without having to use an expensive online service. Ah, and the AI can also analyze images. The big advantage of this is that you only have to download one file once and there is no risk of any data being leaked when running it locally on your computer. This is why such local large language models are ideal for companies. All this is made possible by a language model called Llama, which was developed by Meta. The model is available in various flavors and can now be used free of charge. To download Llama, simply visit this website here. I've also put the link in the video description down below. There are several models to choose from. We select this model and download it by clicking on the download button. After the file has been successfully downloaded, we try to execute it. The problem, however, is that it is not yet a .exe file, but we can easily change that. To do this, click on the file name once, wait half a second, and then click on it again. You can then change the file extension at the very end of the name by entering .exe. Alternatively, you can also right click and rename the file. But before that, make sure that the file extensions are displayed in Windows. Now we start the AI. To do this, double click on the exe file you have just created. The following window should now open. This is a warning from the Windows Smart Screen that you are about to open a file from an unknown source. This is because the exe file is not signed. You will also get this error if you want to convert a Python file into an .exe file using Autopy to Exe, for example. The file comes from the AI open source platform Hugging Face, from which we have just downloaded the Llama language model. I trust the source at this point, but you should still be careful. If necessary, have the file checked by a virus scanner or similar beforehand. If you want to use the large language model on your working computer or in the company, you should ask the system administrators for permission first. I now click on more information and then on run anyway to start the AI. The CMD and your standard web browser will open in which the website 127.0.0.1 on port 8080 will be opened. This is the so-called localhost address, that means a web server has just been started in the background, but it is running locally on your computer. You can also disconnect your internet connection and the server would still be running. If your web browser does not open automatically, you can also simply enter 127.0.0.1 on port 8080 in the URL bar at the top. As you can see, Llama is provided as a C++ program, that means it can also be accessed directly via a programming interface. That means that you don't have to use the OpenAI API, but you can communicate programmatically with the AI locally on your computer without the internet. This interface looks similar to ChatGPT, with the only difference being that you have a lot more settings here. I'll start by assigning a username, for example, Flo. This is my name, by the way. In this field, you will find a template of what a prompt can look like. A prompt is a request that we send to the AI chatbot or the large language model. In the grammar section, you can define a grammar for text generation, but we don't need that at this point. Of particular interest to us is the temperature factor, which can be used to define the randomness of the generated output. The higher this value is, the more random or diverse the generated response will be. Large language models do not usually work deterministically. That means the same input does not usually produce the same output. Okay, let's see how good Llama really is. I'll simply enter, how are you? As the prompt. In response, the large language model generates the following text with a little more waiting time than ChatGPT. I'm just an AI, so I don't have feelings like humans do. 
but I am here to help you with your questions or concerns. What can I assist you with today? That looks good already. Now let's see how good the language model is at generating code. Write a Python program that can calculate the BMI. After a short wait, the answer follows. Sure thing, here is a simple Python script that calculates the body mass index based on height and weight inputs. Well, this is not exactly what we wanted, but the large language model is at least capable of generating syntactically correct Python code. But after a few more attempts, you can get a working program. Sometimes you just have to be more precise and prompt correctly. Now let's have a look at another really, really cool feature of Llama, namely the analysis of images. To do this, click on the button Upload Image below and select an image to be analyzed. I use this one here, for example. I also send a prompt like, what can be seen in the image? The analysis of images takes a bit of time. In the post-production of this video, I have cut out about 70 seconds of waiting time here. But in my opinion, the result is quite impressive. The image features a cartoon-like man sitting at his computer desk, wearing glasses and a beard. He's positioned in front of an open laptop with another keyboard nearby on the table. A microphone can also be seen placed near him. There are two chairs visible around the workspace, one behind the man and one closer to the left side of the desk. The scene appears to depict a computer-related activity or possibly a podcast recording set up in a room with a window view. Will you use local large language models in the future? Write your thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.